So now we're going to move on to the edging on the project, like our Avignon, with that split top and that slate face, one of my favorite products that we offer. And the spike driver from Pave Tool Innovators, making it very quick and efficient to put in those edges. Gator Edge by FlexLock. Two different heights for two different applications. Also available rigid and flexible in one. For densely graded stone applications, you supply an eight inch non-galvanized spike every eight inches. In synthetic base applications such as Gator Base, all you need to do is anchor and zip tie it into place. Hybrid edging from Pave Tool Innovators Aluminum Construction in densely graded stone applications with pavement stitching technology. Spikes are installed and stitched together every eight inches. In open graded stone, such as permeable or hybrid installations, we have these non-galvanized wedge-shaped spikes, pavement, wedge. This will resist creep or the horizontal forces placed on pavement. Can also be used in synthetic applications with the anchor systems simply drilled into place. From TechoBlock, the Avignon Edge. Slate textured face, split face top, one foot long. We supply the anchoring system. You supply an eight inch non-galvanized spike. You slide that in, it anchors into place. So you have a vertical element in the landscape, a restraint for your pavement, and you've encapsulated your bedding. It's available in all the Teco Block colors. We also have the Borealis Edge. As you can see it framing our putting green from Garden Mark Artificial Grass. We began with a compacted soil subgrade. On that, a four inch base of number 57 stone. Then we put down the Weed Mark fabric. Important that it not extend up the sides of our excavated area, just flat. We put in one inch of stone dust or sand for its ease of contouring. Then we can put in our green. Once the green is in, we will trim it for any obstructions and any excess material. Our next step will be the fringe, which you see on the outside, that will aid in using the garden mark nails every six inches, one inch in from the edge. It also helps bind the fringe to the green, part of the integrity, part of the character. Our final step will be applying a silica sand or an antimicrobial infill. That gives this putting green life. We're gonna finish with a little wall of Borealis here. We're gonna have another step there and eventually Borealis wall as pavement. Now edge restraint they get, Rick, but let's walk them through the putting green, especially this last bullet point. The antimicrobial infill actually helps hold those blades of grass up straight and break down any bacteria, any food that got dropped down there or dog crap or whatever would get on there. <laughs> or anything that might happen outside. You get it? Right? This is a very cool thing. Now, if you put the two together, you could do a synthetic green like this one and even heat it. So in the winter months, your dog can go outside and not have to shovel snow and all that kind of stuff. So really cool feature, that antimicrobial infill. 